Hi everybody, today's focus I am testing Lysol all purpose cleaner to see how well it removes bacteria from my home. So almost a year ago, maybe even more than a year ago, I created an Amazon wish list of products that I wanted to test for this channel. And one of the products I put on it was the Lysol all purpose cleaner. I also had some viewers suggest that I test this, including PT109 Boat, Namar Guadana 368, PT109 Boat again, Amanda Carey Cunningham, and others. So my viewer Katie sent me a package from my Amazon wish list that included this Lysol All Purpose Cleaner and also e cloth. But today I'm going to be focusing on testing the Lysol All Purpose Cleaner. So in order to test how well this Lysol All Purpose Cleaner removes bacteria in my home, what I'm going to do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and I'm going to label it A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and I'm going to swab various areas around my home including my kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. I'm going to place those samples in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to clean according to the Lysol instructions, swab the areas again, and place those samples in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing goes there. So let's see how we're supposed to use this Lysol all-purpose cleaner. So the first thing that catches my eye is on the front of the bottle it says 10 seconds sanitization. So let's continue to the back and read actually the directions and see how we're supposed to use this. All right, so they give directions to clean soap scum and greasy soil, which I'm not interested in. To sanitize slash disinfect, it says to pre-clean the surface and spray until visibly wet. To sanitize, leave for 10 seconds before wiping. To disinfect, leave two minutes before wiping. Rinse food contact surfaces with water after use. That always bothers me, you all know that. Does not harm most kitchen bathroom surfaces. On painted surfaces, test an inconspicuous area first. Yeah, okay. Do not use on eating or cooking utensils, glasses, dishware, unfinished or oiled wax floors. This product is not recommended for natural marble, brass, acrylic, plastic, or unfinished wood surfaces. Rinse bathtub shower surfaces with water after using the product. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff actually you're not supposed to use it on. So I can't use this on my bathroom countertops um, in acrylic. Isn't that what my tub is made out of? I'm gonna have to check on that, but I'm not testing it on my tub. We're going to do the kitchen sink and kitchen sink drains. So my kitchen sink is uh, stainless steel. My bathroom sink and toilet room. That's where I'm going to use this product. Let's see, it also has an asterisk. So it says it kills 99.9% .9 of salmonella, staph aureus, strep on hard, non-porous surfaces in two minutes. Kills human coronavirus and SARS coronavirus on non-porous surfaces in two minutes. Let's see, salmonella, E. coli, a different staph, avian flu, H1N1, herpes, two minutes, Klebsiella pneumonia, and staph aureus on hard non-porous food contact surfaces in 10 seconds. All right, so they have a whole bunch of different disclaimers here on what can be killed in 10 seconds and what can be killed in two minutes. So. What I think I will do is I'm going to test the Lysol all-purpose spray with the 10 second mark first. So I'll do my kitchen sink in the bathroom, uh, testing bacteria, having it sit for 10 seconds. After I look at those results, if I see that, hey, it eliminated all the bacteria, great, I'll stop there. If there's still bacteria in the after section of those petri dishes, I'll run the test again and we'll do it at two minutes and we'll see how well it does. So thank you, Katie, for sending this to me and let's see how well the Lysol all-purpose spray removes bacteria from my home.
Now for some results. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the Lysol All-Purpose Cleaner did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria there. That's a great sampling of bacteria. And in the after section, no bacterial growth at all. So the Lysol All-Purpose Cleaner did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And again in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. Lysol's All-Purpose Cleaner did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. That's a great sampling of bacteria from the toilet rim. And in the after section, again, we're seeing no bacterial growth at all. So the Lysol All-Purpose Cleaner did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my toilet rim. Overall, these are very impressive results from the Lysol All-Purpose Cleaning Spray. In every place in my home that I tested, it was able to remove bacteria in, like it said, 10 seconds. As for the scent of the product, I love talking about scents of products. This one is called um, Lemon Breeze Scent. Yeah, sorry Lysol, it does not smell like lemons at all. It smells like your typical classic Lysol scent. I did cough when I used it. I'm not surprised. I usually do when I use kind of like these um, more chemically fragrant products, um, but it didn't linger, so that's something that's good. It did have that typical Lysol scent. So since it did so well with that 10 second test, I didn't even bother doing the two minute test. There was no need at all. It was able to remove the bacteria in the 10 second time frame, so I just stopped the testing there. So thank you, Katie, for mailing me this Lysol All-Purpose Cleaner. I'm really glad I was able to test it. Big, big, big thank you to you. If there is a product that you want me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can do what Katie did and mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email first. That's also in the description below so we can have a conversation about the product before you send it to me. I do have a handful of products in queue that need to be tested. So if you're thinking of mailing me a product that I already have in my home, I wanna have that conversation with you. And it's always good to talk about the products before I receive them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.